this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is Dish Channel Guns. Come in another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate everybody who take the time out to watch the video and stuff. You know, out of the day and everything. So I appreciate y'all for coming over here and seeing what's going on. So I really do appreciate that. I want to appreciate the ones who are subscribing over there to Gun Streamer. Over here, we always want to have some first choice so we can keep fighting for the Second Amendment and everything. So I appreciate y'all for doing that. And I want to appreciate the donation to the channel. I just appreciate all the support, people coming over here, you know, dropping all that good information in the 2A community. It's going to take everybody. I'm to my, you know, I'm going to keep talking about it. It's going to take everybody, every single citizen, to keep and bear arms in this country. So we got to keep up that fight. That's what we're going to be doing over here. We're not letting off the gas pedal. Now, in this video, uh, we're going to talk about ammunition. I'm to my, because that seems to be the headlines and stuff when you have the gun grabbers. You know, they turn on the speaker, shut off the speaker, turn on the speaker, shut off the speaker. That's what they're pretty much doing in California. And, you know, this faulty database system that California has been running for some time now, um, it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's a disservice to the citizen in California. And, you know, they're spreading this disservice all across the country. And, they're uh, you know, banning pretty much ammunition for the law abiding citizen. Now, I had talked about this before. And, you know, it, it just keep being, you know, uh, more highlighted. The system that California has is pretty much, you know, barring ammunition from the law abiding citizen with this faulty database system that they have. Now, looking at some of the information in California and everything. Now, a few days ago, you had a judge who pretty much um, blocked the um, background check system in California to buy ammunition and everything. And then you have, I think it was the uh, circuit district court in California come right back. And upheld the law, you know, pretty much reinstating the law to put the, get the system back online. Now, for that brief moment, California felt relief. I'm talking about, you know, the 2A community was happy about it. A lot of people, you know, we was happy and everything. And like I told you before, you know, when you get good news in the gun community and everything, the 2A community, keep your foot on the gas, people. And all of a sudden, they come right back and reinstate the law. So, I'm talking about, it was so quick. And then I've been looking across the um, online and everything you have a lot of um ammunition companies everything and you know if you had that brief moment because that law was blocked down to put your order in for some of the companies if you didn't get your order in um it's probably too late now so you know if you sat back and and you celebrated and didn't get online to try to you know take the opportunity to have ammunition sent directly to your home and everything as quick as possible um it's too late and so this is what's going on when it comes to you and your Second Amendment rights in this country. They're finding ways to turn on the speaker and turn off the speaker. And so, you know, right now, um, just looking at the information in California, this ammunition law has pretty much barred pretty much the law abiding citizen from 16 to 50 to maybe up to about 60 percent of the time. You know, most of the um, database system has stopped law abiding citizen. From getting ammo now you know this record about that it has stopped people who shouldn't buy ammo it stopped those type people i'm to my is is i haven't really seen too many details because how many criminals are going to do a background check to buy ammunition in california i'm to my how many people are just going to take the risk to see can they just you know see if they're going to pass and stuff i'm to my so i don't know how they're doing that data and everything but far as i looked at most majority of the time is because it was law by the citizens. Some database error, I'm talking about whether it's your name, your zip code, or something that bar you, you know, to fill that background check and everything. And and for what I read, the, you know, most of the time the law by the citizen, when they went and correct and tried again, they went through. So I'm talking about this system saying that they're stopping people um, from buying ammunition in California with this database system. I'm talking about it's just far fetched to me. That's with a lot of the information that I have seen. Now, on top of that, they're charging a dollar fee for background checks. So I'm talking about they're raking in revenue and it's costing you more money. Now, speaking of costs, um, to my you know, I talk about stockpiling and everything, and then I have people, DC, why are you encouraging stockpiling? I'm talking about, you know, I keep hearing that, you know, people say, Well, you encouraging stockpiling, all this kind of stuff. First of all, Stockpiling is a benefit to the citizen, to the gun owners in this country. It benefits you. It saves you money. And you have a, a time like this where we're in a pandemic, a crisis, where you have companies who are pretty much price gouging. 
For example, I'm to my, you know, I bought this ammunition here. I bought this 200 round pack of 380 Winchester for 20 bucks. You know, when you have your, your, your retailer that was saying they were going to stop ammunition, I went out and caught these deals. Now, some people read, well, I'm not shopping at these retailers and, and stuff that's infringing on the Second Amendment right. That, I'm to my, first of all, um, these retailers are going to do what they got to do. But I seek the opportunity, like many other people, to save money and get some good deals on some ammo and stock up on it. That's what I did. I'm to my, yeah, I hate these retailers just like y'all do. But you have to take the opportunity to catch a deal, no matter how you feel about it. I'm to my, you know, so somebody's gonna get this ammunition, whether you buy it or not. Somebody's gonna get it, but it costs you at the end. That's what people don't understand. You can rail against all these retailers and stuff that you don't like, but when you see these deals, you got to go and get them because it's gonna cost you at the end. For instance, I was paying twenty dollars for this. I bought another pack for twenty dollars, which cost me forty. Now, it cost me $40 for this. Now, if you look on the screen, look at this right here. These are prices right now during this pandemic that we in. This SHTF situation that we talk about. Now, it's cost you about 80 bucks. It costs you about 80 bucks. A lot of these companies right now, this ammo is running you $0.34 cent or more per round. As far as what I've been looking at and searching on the internet. So, you know, right now, uh, what you see is cheaper than dirt. And you have not just cheap and dirty. To my, a lot of companies that went up on their uh, prices and stuff. Um, Palmetto State Armory went up on their prices. A lot of places have went up on their prices. Um, to my, because if you look back, I have a lot of um, screen server things that I had that I had in file. And, you know, things I was looking at, I looked at those prices. And now at Palmetto State Army, Cheap and Dirt, and a whole lot of the ammunition, um, the company stuff that you can buy stuff, they have went up on their prices on some things. So um, that's what's happening. And like I said before, it saves you money in the long run. Forget about the retailer that you don't like. You have to look at the long run and save yourself some money. So, you know, that's what I kind of been advocating uh, when it comes to ammunition and stuff like that. Because, you know, some people just don't get it, you know. Uh, you know, you have to have that long term mindset just like the gun grabbers do. And when you see the ammunition law, you see what California doing uh, to my in California, it's a fight within themselves in that state. I'm um, to my you have so much going on, the sheriffs and, 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 you know, politics. They're going all against each other and everything. And you as a citizen caught in the middle, you are, you they juggle you all upside and down. So, you know, one of the you know, with this ammunition law, this is a perfect example how the citizen get caught up in the middle, getting juggled up and down and everything. But, you know, um, also, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to keep saying this. For first-time buyers, or you, you've been in the farms and stuff, you're still trying to figure out what you need to do when it comes to your ammunition, buy, 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 buy when it's time for you to get it. And, you know, you, you have to get this. You have to get it before you get in any type of environment. And right now, I'm talking about as far as the information I looked at, it's going to be a while for a lot of this ammunition gets back online and the prices actually come down. Um, I told you before, um, a while back, a couple of videos, way a couple of videos back that, you know, I was reading, they were talking about the future ammunition, that the price is going to keep going up. Why? It's because so many um, you know, gun grabbers want to keep putting taxes in some of these states on top of the ammunition and the tax that you're already paying. Um, they start to want to put fees and stuff on top of to penalize the gun owner. They want to penalize you. But see, all that is a strategy, a strategy to pretty much stir you away from buying ammunition. Um, like I said before, you have a uh, president nominee, Joe Biden. He's putting in place, um, you know, on his plans and stuff that he wants to pretty much, um, you know, stop the sales of online ammunition. You know, he wants to stop that. And like I said, yeah, online ammunition is a threat to the 2 way community. It's serious to most people. A lot of people don't talk about it. It's a serious threat. Because it's easy to just hit one button and then bar you from buying either a, a, a quantity or, or none at all. It's just that serious. And, you know, the power of these states that can just pretty much, you know, deny you from buying ammunition in this country on, online. It's just simple as a law, people. And you see what California did. You see how, you know, all of a sudden they blocked the ammunition law. And guess what? They opened uh, you know, many a doors online for a lot of Californians that stays in California to buy ammunition and everything. And then soon they read and stated, it just closed that many doors to keep you from buying ammunition. So these are some of the things that you have to look at. And we also, like I said before, we have to keep our foot on the gas, people. The, our foot on the gas. Never take your foot off the gas. The gun grabbers have their foot on the gas. No brakes. They don't have brakes installed in their, in their system. They just got straight gas. Keep it to the floor. 
and they're flowing it to keep infringing on your Second Amendment right. So as gun owners, we must stick together, stay strong, be, you know, be vigilant on everything. You know, we have to put out what we know and keep the citizens in this country in the know what's going on. So just want to kind of talk about that and everything. Um, this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.